didst ever thy dear father love. Oh, God! Revenge his foul and most unnatural murder. Murder! Murder! You are a disgrace. No. No. You are not my father. I am not a disgrace. I am vengeance. I am the knight. I am Batman! to be. I'm vengeance. Hey everybody, Batman here to do Daniel's Shakespeare in film presentation for him. You know, for a long time I've been fascinated by a potential inspiration or link between Shakespeare's Hamlet and Bob Kane's Batman. Both of the protagonists, Batman and Hamlet, lose parents, dress in black, put on an antic disposition, and go on personally motivated, violent missions for justice and revenge. Both characters enter what seems to be an infinite mourning, where their innately flawed visions of obtaining justice are paired with unstoppable determinations. Overall, I think it's obvious that their characters are similar, but the main difference in their quests for vengeance is that Hamlet knows who has killed his father, while Bruce Wayne doesn't. The post-play alleyway murder in Gotham City isn't targeted, it's a random crime, a random act of violence. Hamlet's revenge is targeted. The ghost tells him that Claudius killed his father, and although he hurts and kills people along the way, Hamlet is only looking to enact vengeance on one person. If we look back, there's a bit of a trend in Renaissance drama with the revenge tragedy. Targeted revenge. In Thomas Kidd's The Spanish Tragedy, Hieronimo finds out who killed his son, and then stages a play in which he kills his son's killers. In John Marston's Antonio's Revenge, the ghost of Antonio's father tells Antonio to take revenge, which he does at a court masquerade, get this, wearing a mask. While Batman doesn't always die at the end, Bruce Wayne does, just as the version of Hamlet before his father's death dies when he adopts an antic disposition. Comics like The Dark Knight Returns, and feature films like Batman v Superman, The Dark Knight Trilogy, and other Batman theatrics act, in my view, as modern revenge tragedies. Perhaps Batman, becoming the entity that it is today, has something to do with a legendary play, Hamlet, or at the very least, the legendary Renaissance drama theatrics that might be hidden within it.